Wow. Awesome job, buddy. And right, this is the third time that I've hit every single arrow on the target. Wow. Right so you, can you tell us a little bit more about archery? Aiming, okay. What else? Are there any rules? Yes. If you're shooting a bow, everyone in the building or wherever you are has to be behind you. Yep. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, get good at aiming before you actually go hunting. <laughs> yes. All right, so I would have to say that it is finally time to mow the lawn. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid our newly planted grass, but I think it's time to mow the rest. All right, first I need to see if this thing even has any gas. Babe, does this uh, lawnmower have gas? Sometimes I think I'm stronger than you. <laughs> oh, yes. Got gas? gas? Yep, that's gas. All right. Hi. <laughs> so you are think you're strong enough to start it? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, you need to hold that down. Okay. Yep. And this is why we always mow slow. Say hi! So we will put the sky in a safe place.
Just finding all kinds of guys today. <laughs> Here's a little garden baby. Hi. Hello. Found a snake. Huh? I found a baby snake. He's so cute. Say hi. He's not scary at all. I know some people are probably like, ew, that's disgusting. But he's actually very friendly. Very friendly. Hello. <laughs> I gotta go show the kids. Snake! snake? She found a snake. How do I get these Isn't off? Isn't he cute? Aww. How do I get these off? He's slithering. Yeah, he likes me. Mm. Don't touch him with your fingernail polish. He won't. Mama, okay. why is it bad for him? Yes. Oh. But can we watch him? No, no, Mama, I, I want to watch this, him. This, can you let him in Mama, the yard so we can watch her? Watch him? Mama, Mama, don't let him go. I need to go wash this off. He's so curious. He's like looking around the place. Oh, he's so cute. Is he a water snake? I mean a fire snake? He's a garden snake. Garden snake. Mm hmm So he's very friendly. They were like big, like a big garden snake. Remember those big garden snakes? Mm-hmm. That, that would be like, they would be like, hey ya, hey ya, take that. Mm-hmm. <gasps> it's okay, buddy. I gotcha. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> And this is probably why it takes me a long time to mow the lawn. <laughs> keep keeping my eye on him all day. Bye, buddy. Slither away. Jade has risen from her nap. Yeah, it's a tractor. What are Taya and Avery doing? Let's go see. All right, what are you guys doing? We were just building our own homemade pencils. Out of what? bark and leftover coal from a fire and some hot glue and also remember to do what this picture says please <laughs> can i see your pencil avery um um mine has more coal because you want to put it more out um so and then this is my pencil you did you make it the same way yes there's some hot glue in there and um bark and coal wow you made your own pencils so this um, and this are the sides, and then these are the bottom and the tops. I need to pick up my coral. I Your coral? <laughs> coral. <laughs> <laughs> when you are building it, you want to have a piece that's not too, like, fat. You want to have a piece that's sort of, like, thin, so you can put it in, and you don't need to, like, overdo the hot glue. You want to have it, like, about this size, Okay. And so you want to put it out. You don't want to put it in. That, I made that accident. See, um, when I was drawing the smiley face, my thing broke. Yeah, it's good to, to show our mistakes so other people can learn from them, right? Yeah. Strawberries. Look at those guys. More over here. You see all the flowers? Yeah. How are you gonna grow black? So berries? every place there's a flower, a blackberry is gonna grow. Ah. Maybe just like. Zoom, zoom, zoom. It's just like strawberries. They're setting their fruit. Hmm. I still wonder how. Nature is just magical.
everybody. It's been a few days since we processed our first batch of broilers. Like we've mentioned before, we operate under the 1,000 bird poultry exemption here in the state of Maine, which means we can sell whole birds only. So I thought it'd be beneficial to show you how we break down or quarter our chicken. All right, so first I'm just gonna kind of open the legs here. You can see that skin comes transparent here a little bit. So you just kind of slice right next to the thigh. And I try to slice down as far as I can see where it's open. I don't know if you can see in there. So that's the farthest I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so then you're gonna come down here, cut down the thigh, and then the hip joint will literally pop out. So then you're just cutting right on the other side. So there's the ball of the hip joint, and here's the socket where it went. So there you have um, your drum and your thigh. We leave this together whole. We'll freeze both of these at once. That's just how we do it. You can cut down and pop the joint out here to separate them into drums and thighs if you want. We tend to cook those in either a little Dutch oven to and then end up pulling the, the meat from it to put in different types of meals like pot pies and soups. Yeah, the thing with the Cornish Cross breed is most of the meat that you get in the thigh is white, just like the breast meat, but it's tender too, just like a thigh, very delicious. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is cut off the wings. Which is the best part. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take my knife and go directly in the armpit here, okay? And then you'll cut the other side as well. So there's that. Now the other wing. I don't know. So again, in the armpit. The joint pops out and down here. And then you bring your knife around and it will just kind of bring you through. So there's the two wings. Now you can take the skin off also if you want. It literally will peel right off. I'm gonna do it with my breast, but I leave it on everything else. That's just our preference, but. So with the breast, you can look right down through where the breastbone is, here where it connects in between the both of them. And I just kind of cut down the center. I put my thumb in. You can do it whatever's safe. And you can see how it just starts to fall off. And then you'll see the skin here. And you can see where it attaches to the cartilage. And you can see that it will just come right off. You do have to, the breastbone is right here, so. All right, as I said before, the skin does peel right off. So you just take it here and just pull it back. Then you have a nice breast, there's one. These usually weigh over a pound each for us, which is a lot of meat. 
And then the other, I always grab whatever bone. I cut, put too much meat on this one, but usually I stick my finger in there and I'll hold it from that side. Oh, I can kind of still do that, I guess. But you'll want to be careful cutting down. Use your knife how is ever safest feeling for you. But. Just don't let her cut an avocado. <laughs> yeah, I have battle scars from avocados. All right, this one came off a lot easier and honestly is just kind of falling right off. I just wanna make sure you cut it off of the cartilage up here and the... All right. Second one is usually easier. Now you're just gonna to wanna to cut it. Be careful again with your knife. Down the center here. Get off. All right, so I do also take the wings and, and break these guys down. So this part we don't use at all of the wing. So I just cut in a little bit and then I'll pop that joint out too. And then I'll put my knife right in the middle and it cuts right off. Do the same thing down the middle here. And then you'll pop the joint, see here, and it cuts right off. So there's your two wings. Unfortunately, you only get four per bird. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately. Pop the joint. Cuts right off. Again, right in the joint. And what we end up doing usually for packaging is we have a industrial vacuum sealer. And we'll show you downstairs where we keep all of our meat for the year and everything and how we package it. All right, so this is where we store the majority of our meat that we eat throughout the year. All right. So excuse the presentation of this. We're not completely organized yet. Um, these are here are our wings that are just in the door. So they take a certain shape for freezing. We'll stack them later like this when we create more space. These are our breasts here. We have some packaged single, some double. We kind of set ourselves up for success here in doing a lot of our quartering for the year on our first harvest. We'll play it by ear for what we're eating and what we project to eat throughout the year as far as how much more birds we need to quarter each additional harvest this year. But so far we still have some trout in here from last year. It's a beautiful fish. This is all we have left of our venison. I'm hoping that we actually need an additional freezer. Uh, one for our chicken only and one for other game that we hunt and fish. Hi guys! If you like our videos and you want to see more, smash that subscribe button with double fists. And also, if you like our videos, absolutely obliterate that like button. Oh yeah! What do you think, Jade?